What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers and also my channel for newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a um, free general collective reading, captures blah, 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 captures sad to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, then apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got some channel messages in, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, someone has already received a cease and desist order, and someone is about to receive a cease and desist order. Um, I heard um, water sign energy, um, air sign energy, and fire sign energy. Um, and then I heard... Um, committed um medic medicare fraud against a family member um that's what i heard so you plug it in how it resonates um however that resonates so now i had to look up cease and desist order i have never i've never dealt with any cease and desist orders um i've never received one i've never sent one um i was not familiar, familiar with those so i looked it up and i'll read the definition in a minute but Someone's about to receive, uh, someone's already received a cease and desist order. Someone's about to receive a cease and desist order. And I heard air sign, fire sign, and water sign energy. And then I heard committed Medicaid, uh, Medic Medicare or Medicaid, I get them confused, fraud against a family member. So I'm feeling either the water sign, the air sign, or the fire sign committed um, Medi Medicaid. I think it's Medicaid fraud against um, a family member um, and maybe that's why they have already received the cease and desist order or they're about to somehow somebody committing Medicare or Medicaid fraud against a family member is very highly significant in this um, so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you but we have air sign water sign and fire sign energy in here Aries Leo Sag Cancer Pisces Scorpio Gemini Libra Aquarius um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter chart. What is a cease and desist order? A cease and desist order is an order by an administrative agency that requires certain practices specified to stop. It is used in labor and employment law, security law, education law, and a lot of other areas of law. Typically, an administrative judge has the discretion to decide over the issuance of the order. A cease and desist order is issued by a court or government agency and has legal power. A cease and desist order may be sent by an individual or a company. In either case, a cease and desist notifies the recipient of an alleged violation of the rights of the sender and demands that the violation stop. So, I heard uh, Medicaid fraud was significant of a family member in here. So I'm thinking at least, I'm thinking one of these people committed Medicaid fraud against a family member in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, either them or somebody they're connected to. I think it's one of these people. Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, they've either already received the cease and desist order or they're about to. Some have and some are about to. Um, but the Medicaid fraud against a family member is very significant in here. So, um, you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you um however that resonates i'm going to use kipper a stolen inheritance is also extremely significant in here and through many series of chain events that will be worked out as well okay i heard a stolen inheritance um is also very significant in here, and through many series of time events, that will be that will be worked out as well. So you plug it in, however that resonates. So we have um, Medicaid fraud against a family member, which is terrible. You can't commit Medicaid fraud against anybody, <laughs> um, and much less they did to their own family member. Um, and a stolen inheritance is significant in here as well. And I heard that through many series of time events, that will be worked out as well. So I will say it's nice to see that um, balance is starting to be restored in the collective with some of these huge things I've been pulling in and pulling in and pulling in um, on the channel. You know, um, it's it's nice to see that. It really, really is. Um, 
you know, I get the crazy messages sometimes, but sometimes, um, like this one, this is balance being restored. So thank goodness for that. Number 21 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 21, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, um, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 21, family room. The person that had Medicaid fraud committed against them, they know their neighborhood was in on it and they are really, really, really keeping to themselves and that's very smart because they are right, they were in on it, among other things. Gambling as well. Oh my God, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so I heard um, whoever had Medicaid fraud committed against them. Apparently, their family member was in on Medicaid fraud. Um, um, but their neighborhood was, too. Um, like, neighbors in their neighborhood was in on it, which is terrible. Like, who does that crap? That is manipulation at its finest, you know? I mean, that's terrible. But I heard... Um, Whoever it is, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, you're highly intuitive, whether you have been told this in the 3D by investigators or by someone in the community, or you just know it. You're keeping it to yourself because you know your neighbors had something to do with it. And I heard it not only, they not only had something to do with it, there was also heavy betting there too. So your neighbors are heavy gamblers and they probably betted on you in some shape, form, or fashion, or betted on something regarding you um, in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard you're keeping to yourself, and it's very smart to keep to yourself. So kudos to you if that resonates for you. Um, you're highly intuitive, and you figured your neighbors out. So I, I don't blame you. Uh, for some, I feel you could move. Um, when Maybe when you get the funds collected up, maybe you're going to skip out of there. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Um, I know everybody's on different financial levels. So um, I hope if this is for you, you can save up your money and get out of there. Um, I'm serious about that. So we have family room. So I'm thinking this is your family, own family that went against you to commit Medicaid fraud and a stolen inheritance too. They committed Medicaid fraud against you and they stole your inheritance. I mean, like how low of the low can a family go? And I'm serious about that. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. Yeah. Oh man, this is terrible. Um, this is terrible. And someone's addictions are about to go at all time high. Really exacerbating for some their own children. Alcoholism and drugs. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay. Not you, people that spited you in the past. Not you, people that spited you in the past. So um, you plug in and how it resonates. So not you, the one that got your inheritance stolen and um, a family member committed Medicaid fraud against you. Um, not you, thank God. Um, but someone that spited you in the past, either one person or several people um, in this family dynamic. Um, but they have serious addictions like drugs and alcohol, I heard. Um, I heard they're exacerbating and they have ch child or children. And it sounds like it's bleeding over to the child or children and they're becoming drug addicts or they're becoming alcoholics. Or they're starting off with the partying lifestyle as teenagers, which will pre precipitate the party lifestyle, which will exacerbate alcoholism down the line or exacerbate drug use down the line or street life or something like that. Um, so it's not you though. It's not you person that uh, had the Medicaid fraud committed against by the family member and your inheritance stolen. Not you. It's people that spited you in the past. I think your neighbors or it can be past lovers, past co-workers, past um, people you connected with, maybe people you grew up with. Um, some Somebody that has connected you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past that spited you, I think with this Medicaid fraud or this um, 
stolen inheritance um, and your neighbors are significant in here. Um, their their own their own child or children is um, basically following in their own footsteps. They're heavy addicts, like alcoholics or drug addicts. Um, so family room in this aspect is their own blood, um, basically following after their addict footsteps, footsteps here. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. The inheritance is going to have to be paid back. Every penny. And there will be very, very heavy repercussions. Very. Okay. Um, I heard the inheritance is going to have to be paid back and very heavy repercussions. They're heavy and I just heard fines. Fines. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of fine energy for having to pay back the um, inheritance. Um, and I'm thinking maybe jail too. I didn't hear jail. But maybe for some of these situations, if this resonates for you, maybe they end up in jail. And maybe that's where the finer fines comes in. But some kind of fine energy. Paying back the inheritance every penny plus some kind of fine energy. It may be jail. It may not. So you plug it in how it resonates. But um, it sounds like whoever you are, you don't sound like an addict. Um, you don't sound like an alcoholic or addict or, you know, someone with those kind of addictions. Um, as I mean, you don't sound like you or someone that is an alcoholic or drug addict. I mean, or a gambler, because I heard your neighbors are gamblers. Um, don't sound like you are. Don't sound like you are a gambler or an alcoholic or a drug addict. Um, now, I'm not saying you don't have addictions. Um, you may, but you don't sound like you have those, is what I'm saying. Um, but I heard they're going to have to pay back. Uh, whoever this is, uh, whether it's a family member that um, committed Medicaid fraud on you or neighbors that were help this family member and others spite you and commit the Medicaid fraud and gambled against you and all kinds of crazy shit um, that have heavy, heavy addiction, they're going to have, uh, whoever it is that stole the inheritance, they're going to have to pay it back. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, it's somebody in your family. But you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I just heard pull another card. Okay. Gift. Courtship reversed. Number 17 or 4 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 17 or 4. They could be possible ages of um, children of these people that, um, you know, um, where they have like alcoholism or drug addict issues um there it could be ages of their children basically following in their footsteps four is awful young to follow in one's footsteps with drugs or alcohol but you never know 17 is not for sure um but you plug it in however it resonates um i'm feeling probably not a four-year-old but i could see a 17 year old um if they have not been properly raised um they had their butt whooped um and you know it, I, according to child protective services that's child abuse but I had my butt whooped as a child. And I'm not talking about beating somebody to a bloody pulp with a belt, but a couple smacks on the bottom when you were young, about four or five, to let one know that it is not okay to do something, I do not consider child abuse. Um, I know we live in a much different world these days, but I'm just saying, would you? I would much rather that than my child end up an alcoholic or drug addict at 17 freaking years old. That's just me, but you take it out resonating. And I'm serious about that. Serious with a hard hat. Um, so we have courtship reverse and gift up right. Let me see if I hear anything else.
You are about to get many positive blessings in the universe. Just keep working very hard at your craft and form very positive connections. With those around you. Many positive gifts. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is beautiful. Person that had the Medicaid fraud done against you and your inheritance stolen. I mean, how horrible is that? You Not only did your family commit Medicaid fraud against you, your neighbors were betting on your ass because they have addictions. Um... And they were probably working against you in your neighbor neighborhood. Uh, they might have um, flattened a tire. They might have um, um, put sugar in your gas tank. They might have scratched your car. I mean, you never know. You never nag them. No, you never know. Um, they might have harmed, um, defaced your property in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they might have stole from you. Um, I heard betty, heavy betting energy there. So if we're talking Secret 7, um, that's betting energy through the hidden camera uh, of dark web energy. But I didn't hear Secret 7. I'm just kind of equating it in if you do resonate that way. But however that resonates, they were doing, I mean, your neighbors don't like you. They don't like you, but I think it's because you have lots of desire, drive, and motivation. And because I think they know you're supposed to come into this money. And they were probably jealous of that. Um, and I'm serious about that. But I heard you're going to get every you're going to get every penny of it back. You're going to get every penny of the stolen inheritance back. Um, and you should. You should because it's your inheritance. Um, that if the roles were reversed and the person that stole it from you or people that stole it from you, they wouldn't appreciate it if their inheritance was stolen. And that's just the truth. You know, someone's getting a huge wake up call. I was I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious about that. You know, you have to flip the roles. Um, you have to put yourself in the other person's shoes, you know, and it's the truth. They wouldn't appreciate it. Um, but anyway, so I heard through many series of chain events, you're going to get many gifts in the universe. Just um, really keep um, your connections that you have, your positive connections, positive. Um, I would assume if it was me, I would stay away from my neighbors. Um, for a highly intuitive person, I would stay away from my neighbors. The ones you know were shysty. I would stay away from anyone that you know is shysty. I would keep the co positive connections positive and keep it copacetic and healthy. And um, I heard you're about to get, uh, and keep working hard. I heard keep working hard. It's, so you're your craft. Maybe you have a job out in the 3D. Maybe you have two jobs. Maybe you have five jobs. Maybe you have a full-time job and three side hustles. Maybe you have a full-time job and a business like I do. I mean, you have to plug in your life however it resonates. Well, I've got more than that, but I've got, I've got a, um, you know, a PRN too, but I'm just saying, um, you know, you, you plug it in however it resonates is what I'm saying. Everybody's different. Everybody is different is what I'm trying to say. Um, some people have worked three full-time jobs and they have a side hustle. Some people work two full-time jobs and have three side hustles. Um, so it really all depends on your personal situation. You have to plug it in your life however it resonates. But however it resonates, I heard you just keep working hard and keep um, keep your positive, copacetic, um, healthy relationships. So in whatever you do, whether it's, like I said, a business, a side hustle, a full-time, a part-time, a PRN, whatever it is, um, you're going to get many gifts. And I think this is the stolen inheritance back and um, I heard fine. So... Somebody's going to have to pay back a fine with this stolen inheritance or the Medicaid fraud. Um, I feel the fine energy could go with the Medicaid fraud or the stolen inheritance. Um, I do. I'm surprised that they don't get put in jail or prison. And I am serious about that. Um, many shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this. There's going to be a very significant confession here soon. Really implicating this family member. By someone they never thought would come. It's going to be very incriminating to them. And lead to other series of chain of events. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a someone. Okay, this family member that stole your inheritance and committed Medicaid fraud against you. For some, it could be the same family member. For some, it could be a group of family members. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But whether it's the same person or a group of family members. 
um, somebody's about to comp confess, basically implicate them. They're about to implicate this family member of family members. Um, I heard it's going to be very incriminating. So I don't know who they're going to implicate this person to. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's you they're implicating you to. Maybe you're the person going to implicate this person if you know this person. Um, maybe you are the person that the person gets implicated and then, you know, you're the victim in this. Maybe you're the victim. I'm not sure. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, but somebody is about to con ow, confess. Um, they know some information on this family member, basically. Maybe you're the person that knows the information on this family member. Uh, maybe you are the criminal family member. Maybe you are the family member that got stole from. I'm not sure you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But however this resonates, I heard basically um, somebody's about to confess information. They know information on this family member. They're about to confess it. And it's going to be very implicating for this family member. It's going to create other series of chain of events for the family member. And But it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you. So that that's a gift too. Um, some kind of confession in, uh, energy. I heard it's going to be from someone, this person, this family member, family members never would have expected to do it, but they were about to do it. And they're about to do it soon. They know it was really wrong. Very high vibing individual. Okay, I heard, and they're about to do it soon. Um, they know they were um, that it was wrong. A very high vibing individual. So if this is for you, person that um, your family member had the Medicaid fraud um, committed against you and stole your inheritance, which is that's just doing the dag on most. I'm just saying, it really is. Um, it's a very high vibing individual about to do this. Um, I heard they know it was wrong, and it absolutely was wrong. Um, and it's gonna it sounds like it's gonna create positive series of changes for you, negative series of changes for them. But a gift for you. So, but I heard you keep working hard. You just, it's kind of like, I feel like stay in your lane energy. Stay in your lane energy. Focus on you, children, if you have them. Um, you know, business, work, home, whatever it is in your life um, in a positive sense. And kind of like stay in your lane energy. You know, maintain your positive copacetic relationships. Um, stay away from your crazy neighbors. And um, I feel hopefully for some, once you get the money up, you can move away from the crazy neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Courtship reversed. You are happily single. And you will continue to be that way. And many people will see this. Beautiful vibe. Okay, I heard you're happily single. Whoever you are, you're happily single. And um, many people are going to see that you're happily single. Um, and it's going to create some kind of beautiful vibe energy in you. Um, I love beautiful vibe energy. So whoever you are, you're happily single. But it, you're happily, ooh, sorry, you're happily single, but... I don't feel you go out and spread your legs to every Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Sue, Joe, Fred, Arnando, Cesar, Tina, Sue. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're happily single, but you don't display your goodies out to the world, if that makes sense. Um, you, you keep them, like, close, whether you're a man or a woman. You keep them close. Um, and kudos to you. Um, sexual energy, you know, you don't want to put your sexual energy out there too much to others because it can, um, it can cause problems, <laughs> even if you're not doing anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, you just don't want to do that because you, one, you don't want to come off the wrong way and I'm just serious. And two, you don't want to have crazy obsessors and lurkers and, and things like that, you know, but I heard you're going to have like a happily single vibe. But in a positive, healthy, copacetic sense, and I heard it's going to look good on you. So that could be a, a gift, too. Um, the healthy glow of the happily single vibe. Just saying, just saying. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that.
A Gemini is about to be in for some very, very negative karma. And a Libra. And a Pisces. And a Sagittarius. Okay, I heard a Gemini, a Libra. Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Sagittarius, they're about to be in some, for some very heavy negative karma. Uh, this might be your family member or family members that um, help commit Medicaid fraud against you or help steal your inheritance, or it could be your um, neighbors. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. There was another one. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. There was another one. I'll have to think about it. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. There was another one. I forget it. Um, but they're about to be in for a very heavy negative karma, basically. Um, whoever these people are. And Virgo and Cancer and Taurus. And Virgo and Cancer and Taurus. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. There's a lot of people here. Um, Gemini, Libra, um, now, if you don't resonate in these, you know, you could be high vibing individuals. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do. You could be the high vibing individuals over here. Um, you don't have to be these low vibing individuals. Um, you have to plug you in the story wherever you resonate if you do resonate, okay? Um, these are the people I feel that have spited you. Maybe they're your neighbors. Maybe your you know, your family members that try to commit Medicaid fraud against you or did commit Medicaid fraud against you or ones that, um, or your betting neighbors or the ones with the heavy addictions where their children are about to acquire heavy addictions. Um, however, that resonates in one's life. However, that resonates. Um, there were several signs down there. So um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. However, that resonates. But I think you were a gift to these people. I think you were a gift to these people and they didn't see it. Um, they most certainly didn't see it. But they are seeing it now, and they will continue to see it, especially after they have to pay money back. Okay, I heard they didn't see it, but um, they will. Um, they didn't see it, but they're starting to see it now, and they will really start, uh, really start to see it when they have to pay money back. Um, so some kind of money in some shape, form, or fashion, they will have to pay back. I'm sure it's different for different people. Um, somebody's got to pay a fine down here. Somebody's going to have to pay every penny of an inher stolen inheritance back. Somebody's going to have to pay, but um, sounds like some kind of fine for Medicaid fraud um, and maybe something else. Um, you know, maybe they have to pay back the benefits they stole uh, for the Medicaid plus fine. I mean, I don't know. I've never stole Medicaid. I've never been. I've never stolen anybody's Medicaid benefits um, at all. Nor do I have any desire to do so. Um but however that resonates is what I'm trying to say, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but you just keep focusing on you because you're about to have gift energy coming in your, your universe here. Um, these people are about to have to pay back money. Um, children are about to start getting addictions. We've got a uh, confession, significant confession coming up here from a high vibing individual that knows it was wrong, that knows about the situation, which is going to lead to a gift energy for you. Um, it sounds like you're focusing on yourself. You are moving on in life and you are healing, growing, and manifesting yourself. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, that's great, actually. That's not fine. That's more than fine. That's wonderful. Um, I heard the have um, the single vibe looks will look great on you. So, I mean, you're not putting your single energy out there in a negative sense, I'm feeling. I feel you're putting it out there in a positive, copacetic sense. So kudos to you, whoever this is for. I mean, you can be single and just because you're single is a Pringle doesn't mean that you go and sleep with every Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Sue, Joe, Cesar. And that's just the truth, you know? That's the truth. Things are going to start moving very fast, fast, fast. 
in many positive aspects in this sense. And fast, fast, fast for the other low vibrational people. Okay, I heard things are about to start moving fast, 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 fast. Oh, I can't speak. Fast, fast, fast in this sense for you, person that was stole from, and I mean you were stole from in a huge way. So much so you had your daggum neighbors in on it. It was that bad. Um, I hope you get out of there soon, and I'm serious. Um, and then fast, fast, fast for the other individuals. Um, so in some shape, form, or fashion for them. I feel it might be their own negative karma coupled with having to pay back some kind of money. And possibly some kind of fines in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste.